In Washington now, reaction to the credit rating downgrade is pretty much what you'd expect. Democrats and Republicans busy blaming each other. And CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nora O'Donnell has part of that story for us this morning. Nora, good morning. Good morning, Chris. You know, this was supposed to be a week when President Obama was going to turn his attention towards jobs with a positive message, but instead he's dealing with this talk of a double-dip recession, that terrible week in the markets last week, and that credit downgrade. President Obama returned from Camp David Sunday, leaving his fellow Democrats to place blame for the downgrade of America's credit rating squarely on Tea Party Republicans. The fact of the matter is that this is essentially a Tea Party downgrade. I believe this is, without question, the Tea Party downgrade. I think this is a Tea Party problem. I think they're totally unreasonable. I think they've been smoking some of that tea, <laughs> not just drinking it. Not so fast, says Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, who also appeared on Face the Nation. He believes the downgrade shows a failure of leadership by President Obama. He's had a chance. We're three years into this, and he's failing, and it's not the Tea Party's fault. What was hope and change is despair and confusion. The Friday night downgrade came after one of the most contentious weeks Washington has seen in years. On Monday, just a day before the federal government would have defaulted on its debts for the first time in history, President Obama and Congress finally agreed on a $2 trillion deal to raise the debt ceiling and lower the deficit. But the size of the deal and the messy process that led up to it weren't enough to stop credit ratings agency Standard & Poor's from issuing their downgrade and warning that there may be more to come. If uh, the fiscal position of the United States uh, deteriorates further or if uh, the political gridlock uh, becomes more entrenched, then that could lead to a downgrade. The, uh, the outlook indicates uh, at least a one in three chance. Now, there's some good news for the president. It was well known that his Treasury Secretary, Timothy Geithner, wanted to leave his post, but President Obama gave the hard sell, and now Secretary Geithner has agreed to stay through the 2012 election, and that will provide some certainty during this great instability in the economy. Chris? CBS's Nora O'Donnell at the White House for us this morning. Nora, thank you. Now, here's Nancy.